For nearly three years, doctors at Swedish Medical Center have been rebuilding a man's face as he rebuilds his life. The hunter had his nose and upper lip ripped off by a grizzly bear in 2016. Our health specialist, Kathy Walsh, reports this month plastic surgeons will reattach his nose that's been kept alive on his arm. I'm quite excited about the uh, results. When strangers gape at Lee Brooks' face, they see a man without a nose. Lee and wife Martha see a miracle. I can't express how amazing it is. Since October 2016, doctors at Swedish Medical Center have been rebuilding Lee's face after a grisly encounter on a Wyoming hunting trip. I wasn't thinking about a bear. The Maytag repairman from Pennsylvania was set on retrieving the elk he'd killed the day before. But so was a mama grizzly bear. She attacked and knocked Lee out. When he came to... A voice was telling me to fight back. He stabbed the bear in the head, unaware that he'd been bitten. Well, I looked over on the right side of me, and there on the ground was my nose and my mustache. For the next hour, Lee screamed for help. That day, the Lord was with me. His hunting buddies found him and his face. I took my nose in my hand, put it in my pocket. The first month at Swedish, Lee was in a medically induced coma while doctors saved his life. They treated bites and broken bones and patched his face with skin from his leg. He's had more than 20 surgeries. A lip and mustache were made from his scalp. His nose has been kept alive, attached to an artery on his arm. They used uh, leeches, surgical leeches, to infuse the blood supply. Still makes mucus, still grows hair. We felt it was... Um, worthwhile to save. Lee's plastic surgeons are doctors Lily Daniali and Benson Pulakotal at the Burn and Reconstructive Centers of Colorado at Swedish. This month, they'll put Lee's nose back on his face. It's not one surgery, it's a refinement of multiple surgeries. Eventually, it's going to look pretty good. Lee considers his Swedish medical team exceptional. They took care of us, they brought us in, they made us family. Lee's face of 59 years is gone. But he's still the Lee I married. This new face comes with the grateful <laughs> smile of a survivor. I'm Kathy Walsh covering Colorado First.